I think nothing makes you appreciate the fragility of our life on Earth more than looking at the atmosphere from space, and you realize how thin it really is. Astronauts on the space station see our planet from a unique perspective. When they're not conducting experiments, they find themselves taking in a view that's life-changing. Called the overview effect, they experience a cognitive shift in awareness. National boundaries lose their importance as they begin to see the Earth as a fragile sphere of life traveling through a lifeless void. But this fragile sphere can also create some deadly weather systems. Pushed west by trade winds, hurricanes born in Africa can end up howling through the canyons of New York. While astronauts are changed forever by the overview effect, the sight of a cartwheeling hurricane a thousand miles wide adds a new dimension of awe and astonishment. Well, seeing hurricanes from space is, is just an amazing thing because you realize how powerful the, the forces of nature really are. Now, of course, from space, it, it looks very serene and beautiful, but, but you can easily imagine how much force is happening and how much destruction these things can cause. The most severe hurricanes that strike North America develop off the west coast of Africa and the Cape Verde Islands. But in fact, they're very rare occurrences. Only about 10% of these disturbances actually turn into tropical storms or hurricanes. We can now track the paths and life cycles of hurricanes through a system of weather satellites nicknamed GOES. GOES satellites transmit images of hurricanes 24-7 using both visible light and infrared sensors. A good example of how unpredictable and surprising these hurricanes can be is Hurricane Sandy. We got to see it as it was first organizing, as it uh, became first a, uh, uh, just a mass of clouds which became more and more dense, and then over a period of a day or two organized into the, the big swirling cyclone that people associate with hurricanes. Hurricane Sandy, the so-called Frankenstorm, right off the bat, you could see that this thing was going to explode. By October 25th, Sandy is the largest Atlantic hurricane on record, with winds spanning 1,100 miles. You see a landmass, a coastline that you know a storm is heading for, and over a period of days, you see that storm impact in the coast. And then uh, in the aftermath of that, you have a unique vantage point to fly over that same coastline, and you realize how much destructive power there is in these things, and they're popping up fairly regularly. Uh, in the Pacific and in the Caribbean. When Sandy hit the East Coast, it came ashore in the most densely populated region of the United States, and also one of the lowest lying regions of the United States. On October 29th, she strikes with winds gusting to 80 miles per hour and a massive storm surge aided by a full moon high tide. The result is a path of devastation that runs from Cape May to New England. 24 hours later, Sandy begins to die into a system of winds that push across the continent. Altogether, 286 lives were lost to Sandy in seven countries, with damages soaring to $68 billion. For space station astronauts, the majesty of the Earth's blue oceans and iridescent cloud systems is transformative. But embedded in those very same forces is the destructive power of hurricanes. Seeing your home planet from above the atmosphere, just this impossibly beautiful planet hanging in this impossibly black space. But when you see the scale of, of a large tropical storm, you just you realize how immensely powerful these weather systems are. And it's really quite remarkable. One day, technology may help us know them well enough to avoid the loss of a single soul. That knowledge should only heighten our respect for the magnificent and mysterious blue planet we call home.